once again guys and welcome to another video I know that Jelly Tiger did a video about bullying and I figured I, I'll do something that's kinda of the same again about trading and I know I did another video on with trading tips in it and um, remember I was talking about that one person that I had promised a rare spike a long time ago uh, well I finally got them a risk and, um, well, well, sorry. Anyway, I'm, I, um, uh, about trading. My, and this is, most of this is going to be in my opinion. I mean, it may give you some new visions on it if you agree with my opinion. That's alright. If you don't agree with my opinion, that's still okay. Because that's how I am. I'm cool with it. As long as you don't cause, like, a war in the comments. You know, I don't like that. But, if you ever see this video, it'll probably be really old. Because, I don't have many people who watch my videos. Let's see. And, uh, well, just abandon me, why don't you? Anyway, um, about trading. You know, I know that there's, people say that there's this rarity scale that some things are rarer than others. You know, and it makes you mad sometimes, it makes you frustrated because you can't get the item you want. Like, say you want... One of, the, one of your first goals, I'd say, would be to get a rare bow and arrow. It was it was probably my first goal to get a regular bow and arrow. Which, I know the trade... I can see now the trades I was trading. It was hilarious. But, um, I was getting really frustrated. I was begging. And I realize now that that was wrong. One... Tip number one. Never beg. If you beg, that will make them hate you. That will make them not want to even accept a trade out of spite, whether it's fair or not. Two, don't get up in their face. What good does that do? I mean, sure, it might see them see your opinion a little bit, but the furiosity you put in it will probably ruin your chance of getting whatever you want. Tip number three, don't give up on trading. Deal with it the best you can. That's That, that would go into tip number four. Don't ever... How can I put this? If you've come across a deal that you can handle, and think think about it for a second, and don't don't be like, well, I've had this item for a really long time, and I don't want to get rid of it, and you know, I I don't care. You can get another one of the items. I mean, I it's just pixels. I understand. Like an animal, a certain animal can be a little bit, you know, uh, sentimental because it was like your first animal ever. But, how do I put this? If you come across a deal, take it. Unless you, unless, if you, if you don't want to take a good deal, then you don't really want the item that you're trying to get. And, I guess, um, this is not about getting the certain rares that you need to trade. This is about, pol I guess, politics in a way. I don't know. Just the pros and cons of trading. There's there's no rarity scale. You're when you're playing Animal Jam, who you interact with is a real person. I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm saying? And the, mo most of the time, I think they're not going to be a computer. And they have their own opinion. You know what I'm saying? And I never never mind. Well, you you have your own opinion. They have their own opinion. You may think something is not worth that. Yet when you first start you don't have a lot. You don't have a lot and uh, how do I put this? You, it's hard for you to get a lot because you don't know the tricks, you know? And wow, best quote ever. You don't know the tricks, you know? Sorry. Um, and I guess Maybe you can ask for help, like, how, how is it possible to get a rare bow? And if you see, if you know 
how it's possible and you see somebody asking for you're like how do I get it if you see them asking for one just ignore them okay that's begging or ask you know you don't ask for things you don't hint toward giving others giving you something that's just rude but and if they take it as a hint tell them I don't mean anything by it you know like whenever I had whenever I wanted a headdress you know it was hard for me to I would have some buddies I would have a headdress or something and I would be around them and I it would slip out that I say man I really want a headdress and then I'm like I'm sorry I, I'm not asking for yours because that's what they think that's the first thing they think see I, I you used to whenever I had my old my old one my green one on the other account I'm not I'm not gonna mention which account you know you probably know if you watch my videos but um that was the whole reason why I had to restart because somebody had hacked into my account and stole my headdress but um I mean just almost all of my jamograms were asking what for your headdress what for your headdress again this comes back to my last uh, video trading tip um it just that's not right how to, I, I'm not really sure how to put it it, it is annoying you think that you know well it's okay you know I'm probably like the only person who would ask for it wrong even if you know that you're not the only person who asked for it like the ones who say oh that's okay if no I I kinda I kinda respect that a little bit but please please don't send people jamograms asking what for something if they're gonna take anything for it most times gonna be on the trade list and that reminds me about something else I was going to talk about. Um, what they put on their trade list. I I know if you're proud of your items, you want to show them off. Well, show them off by wearing them or putting them in your den. I mean, don't put them on your trade list and be like, well, I'm just ha I just have them there to show people. You know, people know what they want. All right, if they see it and they're trying to trade for it, they know what it is and they know what they want. And they think that you're going to accept something for it. Don't show them off, okay? Like, you know, most of my animals are blue because of my spikes. I love my spikes, and that's how I'm going to show them off. My headdress. I love my headdress. That's, going to, that's how I'm going to show it off. But barely ever will you find one of my items, one, one of the items that I care about on my trade list. Uh, I guess what I care about the most would probably be... My headdress, my top hats, and my spikes. Those are the items I care about the most. And if I ever get beta tail armor, that will go in there too. Don't ever use your trade list to show it off. What Animal Jam should add is a show off list where you can put, you know, stuff on there that you want to show off. Like non members, I understand that you can't really wear some items. I just now thought of that, but still don't put it on your list to show it off unless you want to trade it because that's what that's the first thing okay this person's going to accept something for it I'll give it a try and then when it, whenever they trade an over like I literally I'm not kidding about this this is true I literally came across a person they said trade me and I just wanted to pull a little you know they said trade me fairly I just want to pull a little prank on them. They had a rare viking hat on their trade list that I had. Like, I had the same kind. The exact same color. And I traded it. I, I traded it and they declined it. You know, I wasn't too, too surprised. You know, I came up to them, you know, just laugh out loud, jokey, kind of. You know, I was like, well, that was fair. And they're like, hey, yeah, but I like, I like over trades. You were just asking people to trade you fairly and now you're asking for an over trade. I mean, yeah, I like overtrades too, but if it's a if it's an extreme overtrade, I feel bad for accepting it myself. You know, people say I'm too soft and I'm not I'm not greedy enough. Well, greedy people just they're not happy. They're never happy. Me, I I set a goal to get the items that I love that I want, and I've already gotten two of my biggest ones, my spikes. And I guess my headdress, kind of. But my my next one will be my black spikes. I might, I may not have them for trade. One of them at a time, maybe. But I don't like. 
It depends on how hard I, I tried to get them. And I guess a founder's hat. Now that's not going on trade. I understand that that might be greedy, but I don't care. I want to keep the founder's hat if I ever get one. All right. I guess that's about done with that rant, I suppose. And in my, la in my last video, I found that rares generator. So far, it has not worked. I used the my account that got hacked. I tried it because it's a member account. They said it would work better and faster with member accounts. And I'm like, yeah, you scammers. And um, I haven't checked it this afternoon yet. But it still hasn't worked after a couple of days on a second try. I found one comment where they said, or it was it was in that video. They said that um, it didn't work for them, and they said to try it again. It, I tried it again. It still didn't work, as far as I know. And the founder's hat generator. I don't know. I haven't. I, I forgot which account, which non-member accounts I used to uh, try to get those. So I'll have to uh, look into that more I suppose and um, I guess I'll get back with you maybe tomorrow or the next day if I can remember we're getting kinda busy everybody's going back to school now and we're trying to get stuff together to go back to school like I really appreciate it I'm too young to go back there alright guys those of you who are going back to school have a good year and Hopefully talk or hopefully you'll hear me in the next video. Bye.